Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Professor Mihir Shah once again with another video. This video is basically taken from a topic relating to decision theory and decision tree. And in this video, we are going to learn about how to solve problem sums relating to decision making under uncertainty. Now, before starting off, Okay, with the problem sum, let us first understand under the topic decision theory, there are two methods. One, decision making under uncertainty and second, decision making under risk. Under the method decision making under uncertainty, there are five types of problem sums that we have to solve. Very first is maximum criteria, second, maximum max criterion, third, minimax regret criterion. Fourth Laplace criterion and fifth Herzweg criterion. And under decision making under risk, we have four types of problem sums to be solved. One is based on expected monetary value, second, expected opportunity loss, third, expected value with perfect information, and fourth, expected payoff with perfect information. Okay, so now in this video, we are going to solve problem sums relating to decision making under uncertainty. Okay, now let us start with the very first sum based on decision making under uncertainty. Now the question is given here as based on the following payoff. Okay, we need to find maxi min criterion, maxi max criterion, minimax regret criterion, Laplace criterion and Herzweg criterion. Now, now before starting the sum, we'll first go through the question. Now, this is the most important, but the sum is very simple, but you need to identify the question very well. Okay, the question will be split up in two parts. One will be the acts or actions. Okay, or they can even be known as alternatives. And the second part will be known as the states. Okay, or the, that is also known as the state of nature. So very first thing in the sum, always try to identify the actions or the acts and the state of nature and this is all the payoff which is given under the question so we'll start one by one finding the answers for this question now the very first thing what they've asked to find is maximum criterion okay now let us see how to find maximum criterion now the word maximum will first divide it in two part we have maximum value and the minimum value in order to solve this sum we'll have to go backwards backward in the sense first we have to find the minimum value and then from that we need to find the maximum value that will complete our maximum criterion so we'll start one by one okay so first we need to find the minimum value in your first action that is in a so minimum value in a now let us see the question in minimum value in a is 10 same way we need to find minimum value in b in action B, the minimum value is 14. Same way in C, minimum value in C is 16. And in D, the minimum value is 40. So with this, we have found out all the minimum values. Now, from this minimum value, we need to find the maximum value. So from this, the maximum value is 40. Hence, 40 appears in set number D. Therefore, alternative D is selected, which is equal to 40. This is our maximum criterion. The next thing that we need to find is maxi max criterion. Now, in this again, we'll split the question two parts. We have maximum and maximum. In short, we first have to find the maximum value, and from those values, we'll have to find the maximum that will give us a maxi max criterion. So, again, first we'll have to find in A. So, the maximum value in A is 60. Maximum value in B is 44. The maximum value in C is 38. And the maximum value in D is 50. So we found the maximum value is in all the actions. Now the we need to now we need to find the maximum value of these max values. So among this, the maximum value is 60. Therefore, now this 60 appears in action A. Okay, therefore the alternative A will be selected, which is 60. This is our maxi max criterion. 
Now, the next what we need to find is minimax regret criterion. Now, this is very important. The, the word regret means we'll have to create another table. Okay, the word regret means we'll have to solve it in both the ways, horizontally as well as vertically. Now, in order to solve minimax regret criterion, we'll have to first create a regret table. Okay, but new values of payoffs. Now, how to find these new values? Okay, now we'll have to start checking the state wise. In your state of nature, we have four state PQRS. Okay, one by one, we'll have to catch one state at a time. Okay, whatever is the maximum value of that state, okay, we'll have to subtract that with the remaining values in order to get the new values. Now, in state P, the maximum value is 50. Okay, so now we'll have to subtract 50 from all these values and get the new values in our regret table. So 50 minus 10 will give you 40. 50 minus 20 will give you 30. 50 minus 36 will give you 14. And 50 minus 50 will give you 0. With this, we have completed with P. In the next, we have Q. In Q, the highest value is 46. So 46 minus 16 is 30. 46 minus 14 is 32. 46 minus 16 is 30. 46 minus 46 is 0. Next is R. In R, the highest value is 42. 42 minus 42 is 0. 42 minus 36 is 6. 42 minus 24 is 18. Minus 42 is 0. The last we have S. Highest value is 60. 60 minus 60 is 0. 60 minus 44 is 16. 60 minus 38 is 22. And last 60 minus 40 is 20. With this, we have completed the regret table. Okay. Now we come back to the normal solving. We have to find minimax. So again, we divide in two parts. We have max and we have minimum. So first, we let us find the maximum values of all the action. So the max value in A, we get it as 40. In B, the maximum value is 32. In C, the maximum value is 30. In D, the maximum value is 20. So we have found all the maximum values of all the actions. Now we need to find the minimum value from those maximum. So the minimum value among this is 20, which is un so we get the minimum value as 20. 20 is in D. Therefore, the alternative D is selected, which is equal to 20. This is a minimax regret criterion. The next we need to solve Laplace criterion. Now Laplace is another word for average. So basically here we need to find the average of each action and the highest value among the average will be your final answer. So average value in A that will be 10 plus 16 plus 42 plus 60 divided by 4 because there are 4 numbers. So when you divide this, when you add up and divide this, you get an amount as 32. Same way we have to find the average value in B, which will be 20 plus 14 plus 36 plus 44 divided by 4, which is equal to 28.5. Same way average value in C, 36 plus 16 plus 24 plus 38 divided by 4, which will be equal to 28.5. And lastly, average value in D, which is 50 plus 46 plus 42 plus 40 divided by 4, which will turn out to be 44.5. So here we have found the average values. Now highest among this is 44. So the max value is 44.5, which appears in the alternative D. Therefore, alternative D is selected, which is equal to 44.5. This is our Laplace criterion. Okay, last we need to find is the Herzberg criterion. Now, in order to find this, always remember in this criterion, they'll always give you an alpha value. Okay, so in this example, the value of alpha is 0 0.8. Now, in order to solve this, we'll create one small table. Okay, which will have columns of acts that are nothing but the actions. The maximum payoff, that is the maximum value. Minimum payoff, the minimum value. And thereafter, we need to find the weighted payoff. Okay, using a formula that is alpha into the maximum payoff plus 1 minus alpha into the minimum payoff. 
okay now using this table let us start finding from the very first action so let us find for action a now in a the maximum value is 60 and the minimum value is 10 so we wrote it out here the maximum value is 60 minimum value is 10 now using this particular formula alpha which is 0 0.8 into the maximum payoff which is 60 plus 1 minus alpha if alpha is 0 0.8 1 minus 0 0.8 will give you 0 0.2 into the minimum payoff which is 10 which is equal to 50 same way we need to find for the second action that is action b the maximum value is 44 minimum value is 14 so using the formula we'll get 0 0.8 into 44 plus 0 0.2 into 14 which will come up to 38 same way for action C, highest value is 38, the lowest is 16. So 38 maximum, 16 minimum. Using the formula 0 0.8 into 38 plus 0 0.2 into 16 will give you 33.36. For the last one, highest is 40, sorry, highest is 50 and the lowest is 40. So 50 is the maximum, minimum is the 40. Using the formula, we get 0 0.8 into 50 plus 0 0.2 into 40, which is equal to 48 now the highest value the highest value among this four alternative is from alternative a so the maximum value is 50 and that is in action a therefore the alternative a is selected which is equal to 50 by Hauswick criterion okay with this problem sum relating to decision making under uncertainty comes to an end thank you